Hey guys, my name is Ali. Today I'll be introducing you to the latest, fastest, and the newest Wi Fi 6 gateway that is not introduced yet to the market. I have been very lucky to be one of the few to be able to test this device out before we roll it out to the market. Before we get started, I'm going to break this down to design, functionality, and limitations. Before we get into that, let's have a little introduction. This is a Nokia tri-band 2.4 gigahertz and a dual band 2.5 gig network so you could have on the single router where before you would have the fiber disconnecting at the DMARC. Now you have the fiber coming all the way to your closet to the gateway itself. So there is no more WAN connection or WAN Ethernet connection coming to your router. AT&T is not in the business to make residential gateways. So I was kind of surprised at first. Come to find out when I log into the admin page, the manufacturer happened to be Nokia Shanghai. Now let's talk about design. The first thing I noticed was it's a very next generation looking design compared to some of the other router vendors that are out there such as Netgear Orbi, Eero, and Google devices, but not exactly. The router itself is beige, whitish in color. There's a single light rather than the various lights to indicate different functions in previous models, where before you would have separate power, battery, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and five other lights where you now have only have a single light to represent all of those. There is a SFP module that plugs into your router, which is there for your fiber to connect to. The SFP module will convert light to data stream for your gateway to function. And now let's talk about functionality. The new admin page is completely different to look more appealing. A lot of rewording has been done on the tabs to make it more user friendly. I have to add that I've noticed zero lag on the new admin page. When you go from tab to tab, for you gamers out there, AT&T Nokia has given it extra thought to make it easier to forward traffic to certain gaming applications and provide drop down to simply select the game you play. What if your game is not in the drop down? What happens then? Good question. You can then go to the custom services and hardcore your ports and protocol to forward that traffic. Now let's talk about limitation and drawbacks. To truly take full advantage of the router, you will need Wi-Fi extenders throughout the house to broadcast the signal to different areas of the house where signal is the weakest. The Wi-Fi ext extenders do not come with the router and will be additional in cost. Now this is a completely new hardware and the software being at its early age, it may have some limitation and bugs that still need to be ironed out, which may arise as the product gets fully embedded into the market and goes through its cycles of use case scenarios. Now there may be other things that I run into as I'm going through this testing phase, but overall it's a good design and leap forward to the next generation of tech being introduced out in the market. This is all I know so far. Thanks for watching.